Welcome back to another episode of Bengal Gets Mad at Virtual Football. What are you guys up to today? Um, I'm not very good at small talk, so we're going to skip that. That bullshit. We're back on Giants franchise. And uh, I would appreciate you liking and subscribing if you have not and are not already. But you guys told me a couple of things, and uh, I'd like to address them because I have made some changes into league settings. The reason that I decided not to up the quarter length for last game, even though I planned on doing it, is purely because I had the intention of making trades that will not be happening over the course of the next season. So we are upping the quarter length a little bit. We're going to try 10 minutes. I think I did 11, maybe even 12 last year. I think 10 is going to be good. It's already a clock on. All the rest pretty much stays the same. Weekly training auto. And I have decided to change the sliders because a lot of what people were saying, well, the Jaguars have one of the best defensive lines in the NFL. Of course, they're not going to be able to uh, to run on them. Well, here's the thing. Nate Solder is a solid left tackle. Will Hernandez is a solid left guard. So picture us having an 83 and a 78 across the offensive line. We're running to the left side of the line we still can't really even get to the line of scrimmage. And the worst offensive lines in football will still have some plays over the course of the game. We're going to get some yards. It's just it's just going to happen. So if we were to go ahead and look at the team schedule and check the box score and check the uh, yards per carry for both running backs in Leonard Fournette and Saquon Barkley, Leonard Fournette averaged 3.8 yards per carry. Not phenomenal, but okay. He started off really, really bad. Had a couple runs near the end of the game to bring that average up. Saquon Barkley on 12 attempts had eight yards. Less than one yard per carry. We struggled heavily to even get back to the line of scrimmage a lot. So I think it was just, it's way too low. I mean, it's just not realistic. It's not fun that way. And you got to find a happy medium where you can actually have some fun. Running's a little bit more difficult this year. I've changed the gameplay sliders a little bit. I think Eli was missing... Far too many passes with 50 accuracy. I bumped it up only slightly. I want to see how that plays to a 55. Pressure was flying in. I've upped that, uh, that to a 60. I've upped run blocking to a 60. Fumbles, I think we should fumble more, maybe. So I upped that to a 55. Everything else on defense stays the same. For the CPU, I bumped up their quarterback accuracy to 55. I bumped down their pass blocking. I thought they caught some ridiculous passes through hit six. We turned that down by five. Run blocking, I moved up by five. Fumbles, I moved up by five. And then I made pass coverage down by five. That's pretty much it. Field goal accuracy, I ironically turned down. And then injuries, I have at 30. Fatigue, I have at 50. And I turned down the minimum, uh, minimum player speed threshold to 40. Although I think I probably could go a little bit lower. But that's what we're going to try. Those are the sliders for this episode. We're going to tweak them as we go along. This is still the starting lineup. And it's a pretty good damn team. Well... It's not, actually. That's just a blatant lie. I lied to all of you. We have good players, though, in certain positions. So we face the Dallas Cowboys for a primetime game at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Let's march into Dallas, win this football game. Phenomenal season being showcased as uh, David Irving had one tackle. That's something to write home about. But as you can see, some of these uh, comparisons here. We have the advantage in a lot of different positional groups. We have a better nose tackle. We have better cornerback, number one. Better wide receiver, number one. But uh, the Cowboys really, really hurt us in the trenches with one of the best offensive lines in football. Solid running back. Decent QB. Dak Prescott's going to be a problem today. But here we are. The presentation's really nice this year. And I'm not just saying that because obviously I am an EA game changer. If you don't know what that is, we're not going to talk about it. It's uh, it's whatever. But uh, both teams are going to take the field here. Going through the fire. It'd be hilarious if somebody would just trip. and. Yeah, I mean, I guess third degree burns aren't amazingly funny. They're like uh, a little bit funny. Regardless, we got to start this off with a bang. And uh, not a burn, unlike I may have just hinted at. There we go. Aldrich Rosas. Not so great at kicking it through the uprights on game-tying extra points. But he is okay at kicking it deep to Tavon Austin. New offseason pickup. Going to take a knee. So run blocking has been boosted. We'll see what they can do. BJ Goodson storming up the middle. Split the gap. 
Ezekiel Elliott has nowhere to go in our run defense looking really solid. We have a good defensive line. We have a really solid defensive line with Damon Harrison. Dalvin Tomlinson's sick. We got Olivier Vernon. Just the linebackers got to progress. BJ Goodson, Alec Ogletree. They need to get better. And that's going to be a completed pass. Alan Hearns for the first down on Eli Apple covering. Yeah, we got to shut this down. <laughs> we got to shut this down. Is this going to be like Z spot? Oh, that's going to be a completed pass. Kareem Martin is there for the stop, but Jeff Swaim, Geoff Swaim, gets the first down, 12 yard pickup. And uh, Cowboys are really moving the football at home. We need to shut them down. They're going to the run a lot less than I would have expected. I'm kind of playing to that. And they're not really doing it. And that... Uh, uh, can, can somebody do something here? I'm trying to cover three different receivers at once over the middle. It's not working out. I'm just really expecting this run. We're going to be in man now. We'll cover Ezekiel Elliott out of the backfield if they don't hand it off. Give me the ball. That's got to be an interception. Picked off by Jack Rabbit. Janoris Jenkins, go. Kareem Martin, do something, please. He, they're catching up to us, Kareem. Go, Janoris. Oh, my God. Ezekiel Elliott is fast. Janoris, no. <laughs> We're down to the one. How can you not finish? Ah, uh, I'll take it, though. Janoris Jenkins with a monster return down to the one. We can't quite finish and get... The pick six. We got Saquon Barkley. We're going to go outside here. We're going to get a block. And Saquon Barkley easily into the end zone for the touchdown. Second of his career. And he is waving to these Dallas fans. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know you're going to have that rivalry with the Cowboys your whole career. And uh, if you take this rivalry seriously, let them know what's going on. We're going to be in good shape. I love it. Somebody tackle him. Very patient running from Ezekiel Elliott. He doesn't actually go anywhere as Dalvin Tomlinson shuts him down. But, uh, I mean, he looked like he looked like he saw some Le'Veon Bell tape and was like, let me give that a shot. And it just didn't work at all. Tavon Austin coming in. We're going to send some heaters. We're going to send some heaters here. We just got to play sharp in coverage. Oh, it's almost picked off by Olivier Vernon. Great work to jump the route there and knock it down. And when we say knock it down, he dropped a clear interception. That's going to save us, or would have saved us, like 40 yards. Let's we'll see what Saquon can do on return duties. That probably is not a fantastic idea to have him back there. But uh, he does offer big play potential. Great stuff. Deep out. Hopefully something gets open here. Red Ellison. Oh, my God. Pass rush gets in there just a little bit too quick. We can't find an open receiver, and we're going to have to punt. We still haven't found out what happened to Ezekiel Elliott. They haven't let us know. I'm I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit curious because the star running back is suddenly not in the game. We saw him get injured, and we haven't heard anything. That's open over the middle. Kareem Martin going to allow yet another catch. It's going to be, I believe, Julius Thomas on the reception. Second and two, Tavon Austin's going to stay in the game here. Even if it's play action, we're all over it. Dak Prescott just... What is going on here? Can, oh my god, dude. What is happening? Dak Prescott, on a conservative tackle, shrugs off Alec Ogletree like he's nothing. And granted, I know Alec Ogletree in real life, at least for the Rams in the past couple seasons, does not give a, a you know, anything about wrapping up. But there, it doesn't do anything. We can't wrap up Tavon Austin. Oh, and I don't even get an animation there on the user pick when I lurk that. I feel like I'm right in the area. And they're playing rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors says shoot me in the, in the head after that, man. God dang. All right, let's find something here on third and eight. We might go to Odell here. He's going to be open. He holds on. Odell Beckham Jr. Key timing route. Great way to hold on on the out. And we're moving the chains. Tough throw there. All right, Saquon's going to be in instead of Jonathan Stewart on this one. And um, doesn't really appear to be anywhere to go. Three rushes, negative three yards. Glad we moved up the run blocking sliders. Now, it always is possible. I'm just terrible at running the ball. That could be a thing. But Saquon Barkley's going to get the edge here. And it's, oh man, you try to change directions the slightest bit. And it slows them down just incredibly. 
in Madden 19. I gotta get the hang of it. It's gonna take me a little while, guys. I apologize. I'm doing my best here. It is, uh, it is not easy for me, at least. Third and four. Saquon in the flat. Uh, I really thought that the uh, slot cornerback made a different read there. But uh, maybe that's even the safety. Eddie Pleasant. And I still don't have any type of indicator to where I'm punting the ball at all. That's awesome. But I guess we don't need it. Inside the five. Get the safety. Get him! Oh my god, dude. They fucking call flags on this shit. I'm diving after the quarterback to try and get his legs. And guess what? It's a personal foul. Because you're not allowed to hit the quarterback below the knees. And then they get to the 19 now. <laughs> That's such a dumb roll. That's unbelievable. Am I, gonna, am I allowed to hit him there? Thank you. Read the play action again. Alec Ogletree picks up his second sack. And we'll celebrate after the huge penalty, I guess. All right. Someone get me an interception here. Darian Thompson can't see three inches in front of his own face to let him know that the ball was in the air. Dallas is going to challenge the spot of the ball. And it's overturned? Wow. Okay, this is how this game is going to go. Like, are we... Is this a joke? Is this a joke here? Just run with Dak every play. I mean, eight yards after contact. He has eight yards after contact. Oh, my God. But, uh, Dallas going to extend their lead. Or get the lead with uh, a field goal there. 10 to 7. We got two minutes and 43 seconds to score. Saquon is not going to be my returner next game. I will tell you that. All right, here we go. Play action. Saquon Barkley. We're going to throw it to him. He's open in the flats. Saquon Barkley gets the first down. Eli Manning, 5 for 6, passing 35 yards. It's just like we haven't exactly uh, stretched the field with a lot of our plays so far. And will that change at some point? I don't know. It's hard to say. I want to be conservative with the football. We're going to check down again. Saquon Barkley. And uh, I can't juke or spin. I feel like I'm terrible. I'm awful at timing it. I don't know what it is. But uh, I'm not effective in the open field. Let's get something going here. I don't love to check down. I want to I want to get some big completions. And, I mean, I'm going to Evan Ingram there. And the ball's not even close. Eli Manning, it's not even in the neighborhood. Like, if, like, I was going to make a Mr. Rogers neighborhood reference, but I don't know how many people are even going to know who that is. So, uh, not ideal. I mean, Eli, Eli sucks. Eli's terrible. I'm trying to hit stick and get the football back. I don't know where Janoris Jenkins is on that. I think he was in a deep zone. Yeah, he was. Can we get some pressure on the quarterback? Anytime I'm sacking Dak Prescott, it's my own work blitzing up the middle with a linebacker. And, uh, oh man, they're driving on us right now. That's mine. Give me the ball. I played it so well. I baited the throw to Dak. And, uh, Alec Ogletree drops the ball. So, we have back-to-back -back what should be interceptions. And now the Cowboys still have the football. They're going to complete the pass on third and ten. They're going to get the first down. They're going to score a touchdown, more than likely. Dak's going to throw it. I don't know what Janoris Jenkins is doing because he thought the ball was totally not where the ball is. Might be actually blind out there. Jumps for it. Not even close. That, that kicks me wide left, though. We're going to have 35 seconds, two timeouts from about midfield to score. This is possible. And if you guys wonder why I do suggestions, by the way, I think it makes it uh, more challenging because I, I can't call like cheesy plays that work. I just see whatever... Uh, is in the suggestions and it's like it's almost like a coordinator is calling plays for me and I really like that aspect of the franchise series so that's what I do Evan Ingram we're gonna have to call a timeout 30 seconds got to the other side of the 50s good give me Sterling Shepard maybe or Odell yeah oh my god 
I did the wrong type of catch, and he got a weird animation. Uh, jumped in front of it. Good pick by Jordan Lewis. That's my fault. I forced the ball. I just got to throw it away there, and uh, it's not what I did. It's just, it's a brutal combination of me being terrible and the game screwing me over. It's just, I don't know how I can be expected to win when I'm terrible, but also the game doesn't want me to. It's, it's a brutal combo. We have Odell Beckham Jr., and I feel like I don't try and force him the ball enough. We're going to go to Evan Ingram there. Evan Ingram breaks the tackle, stays on his feet. Can't get much more because I feel like uh, whenever you have the ball, you run it six, seven, eight miles per hour at the max speed. And uh, the defense is running around there at like 15 or 16. And it, it is it is tough. Second and 10. Please, Saquon. There we go. There's the spin move. It was super effective per usual. I don't know how to do it, dude. I've, I'm never fooling anyone. I feel like every time I do it, I never get any extra yards. It just kills it. It's so frustrating. Let me work in the slant here. There's Odell Beckham Jr. That's a good block in the second level. Six rushes, five yards, and a touchdown. Saquon having career numbers every time he touches the football. Jonathan Stewart in the game now is... Saquon is clearly tired, and uh, of course, I don't really have any time to throw, and I get sacked. Third and 20. We got one-on-one -on -one Odell Beckham Jr. We got Evan Ingram has a favorable matchup. And I'm just going to lob it up for Odell. It's our best shot to go up and score some points. Can't haul it in. Of course, if you look, we're going to check the replay mode real quick. Nothing was open. Nothing had any chance of getting open. And the blitz was coming. So if we take a second look, they blitz another. If he didn't run into Will Hernandez, kind of oddly, I'm getting sacked right around now. And you could say that that's open, but he would have stepped in front and made the play. This is double covered. We look at Evan Ingram. I mean, he's going to throw the ball and he'll lead it straight into the safety. So even though it looks like there's some separation, it closes very, very quickly. And then Odell Beckham Jr. is your best player in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. There's nothing I could do when nobody gets open and pressure comes in. So even though they blitz, everybody's still covered so heavily. It's a great way to hold on to the football. Jeff Swaim takes a hit. I mean, uh, the only way I can get pressure is if I use with the D line. And that's annoying to do. The CPU just doesn't, they don't, they don't even know how to run. That's probably a touchdown if he just goes straight and he's like juking out nobody. Ugh. All right, we're back to using linebackers because it's the best way to play. And uh, Jarwin's a motion man. I tried to time the snap. Didn't get it. Damon Harrison, please. Somebody, somebody stop Smith. Who even is this? God, man. Two rushes, 21 yards for someone that looks like a linebacker just coming in and taking handoffs. Good lord. And over the middle, of course, Jeff Swaim again. Why are you hyped, Darian Thompson? He caught it. That's a touchdown. Jeff Swaim, catch we need to turn the catching sliders for the CPU down. I haven't seen anything that's been dropped so far through vicious contact under any circumstance. They catch it everything it's jeff swaim not gronk Get, like back me up here third and ten you guys wouldn't believe it another possession where i don't move the football even at all even at all oh i wanted something there i freaked out i freaked out that's on my that's my bad eli turned into dak prescott we got the first down i don't know what happened right there but i freaked out and didn't press any button because i was so scared of throwing an interception that i didn't pick up the first down through the air. That was really bad. And I'm, I'm doing it again. I want Odell. I'm just going to throw it away. I maybe had Odell there. All right, I really want Saquon Barkley to start going off. And it's super tough because I feel like we haven't really had good blocking the entire game. And there finally we do. Saquon Barkley bowls over one. And we've got positive yardage, baby. Huge pickup for Saquon. Now he's up to averaging 3.3. Maybe the this, this stretch is the way to go. Saquon back in the game. This is this is somewhere where I'd love to go just straight up the middle. Pretty much. 
Could have went to the dive. All right, here we go. Saquon found a hole. Not really, though. That was third down. Ah, I should probably look at that, huh? Dude, I have no marker. Is this what all Madden is? Hopefully I make it. I dragged it to the left a bit. I can't fucking see where I'm kicking the ball. What do you want me to do here? <laughs> I can't see where I'm kicking. Oh my god, dude. Got to play through adversity. It's great defense, Eli Apple. You just got cooked by Cole Beasley. It's going to be a long, long season. I'll, t I'll tell you that right now. It's going to be a long season. Good lord. I swear to God if this is completed. You got to be shitting me. Oh, I'm about to freak out, man. It's going to make it 20 to 7. So we need two touchdowns without allowing one in six minutes. And we can win. It's going to be... That's doable. All right, let's maybe see if we can get Odell involved. Um, that flag better be on the defense. Because there was a receiver in the area when I threw that away. Intentional grounding, offense. That's a fucking dumb call. I mean, what do you mean, intentional grounding? How? How? There's a receiver in the area. Learn the rule. Look at this. Look where this ball goes. It's right over Saquon's head. You don't call intentional grounding there. You just don't. I'm about to lose my mind. I need somebody to get open here. It's going to be Sterling Shepard. He's wide open. Holds on. Jordan Lewis can't do anything about it. I don't know how he almost got back in that play, by the way. If you guys noticed, he got right back in that play. Right back in the play. Odell is just super talented. We're going to do it. Odell, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, he caught it! Oh my god, Odell Beckham Jr. What is that? I don't even know what the dance is. That's incredible. Off the tipped ball. I still don't have a bar. Straight up is easy, though. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Odell makes an incredible catch. That's why we have Odell. The fact that I don't have a line for kicking is... You guys don't even understand. It is tough. It really is. But, um... That is huge for us. We're, we're in this game now. And I need a new quarterback badly. And it, we're not going to go to Davis Webb. We're not going to go to Kyle Laletta. I need someone with an arm. Eli just doesn't have it. I was forced to lob the ball there. When otherwise I probably would have... Uh, Try to throw a bullet. Looks like everybody important is fine, though. And, oh, fumble the ball, please. We need to stop here on third and six. Cover two is going to be the ma the move. The mave, the wave. All right. They don't appear to be running here. I mean, they could be. This is pretty wide open. Wrap up. Wrap up. Huge tackle by William Gay. That's out of field goal range. They missed one from here earlier. They might try another one. Oh, I, I'm honestly welcoming it. Dan Bailey could easily miss this. Kick is up, and the kick is good. Back to a two-score two game. That hurts a lot. We need to score very quickly now. I just need to take deep shots. I need to take deep shots. I'm going to throw that ball. What in the fuck are you doing, Eli? He might be the worst quarterback I've ever used in any franchise ever. I'm going to go to Russell Shepard here. He drops the ball. I'm about to lose it, man. Somebody on the O-line? Is it Will Hernandez? He doesn't look like he's in at left guard. There we go to Evan Ingram, though. Will, Will Hernandez is an injury I don't need. Near the end of the game that we're not going to win. That's something I do not need to happen. 
upper arm bruise. He'll return soon. Injury risk is low. We're going to keep him out. I don't, I don't need it. We got a minute and 30 to play. It is very unlikely that we manage to win this game. We're going to streak Evan Ingram. We're going to wheel Saquon Barkley. And um, Odell is open. So that's a thing. What would we do here? Kicking the field goal would probably be the smart decision if we get a little bit closer. I think we're just going to take a shot, though. We're going to throw it up. Odell, make the play. And it's intercepted. Byron Jones wins a jump ball with Odell Beckham Jr. For sure, dude. All right, we're running some empty stuff here. Hope somebody gets open to some capacity. We're going to throw it up to Odell because that's our one, our one play in the playbook that is effective at any point ever. And we're going to lose again here. So the Giants are off to a rough start, 0-2. Running the ball has been difficult. We got off to a great start, and um, uh, that was it. We got off to a great start. The rest of the game, not great. Not great. Eli, Eli missed far too often. Our defense was far too inefficient and ineffective at stopping the Cowboys, who were very efficient and very effective. But that's going to pretty much do it for me here today, guys. We slipped to 0-2 in uh, two pretty close games. Eli won for three, 200 yards. Saquon was not great. I need to figure out how to like make people miss. Odell had a pretty good game. Evan Ingram, decent. It's hard to get the ball to Sterling Shepard. People don't get open, and we don't have time. It's a vicious combo. Alec Ogletree got two sacks, but we don't get any pressure off the edge. We're going to mess with the sliders a little bit more in the future for uh, what I would consider to be more fun and better gameplay, but whatever. Uh, I'm done complaining for one day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it's not too much to bear, but I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Yeah.